Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. For those of you that were just wondering or wanted to see, this is the proof for the criteria of perpendicular lines. Let me show you the setup. First, I made two perpendicular lines intersect at the origin. From the distance of one on the x-axis, I made a line and notice that they create a right triangle. Now, since they're intersecting at the origin, whatever slope this is, M1, when you use it to follow this line, this point will be 1, because remember, I want one distance, and using the slope, whatever the slope is, that's my Y. Same thing here. We'll say this is point A, this one will be point B. The distance of the x is still 1, and my slope, when I use it, that ends up being my y. So this is m2. So notice that this distance right here is m1, and this distance right here is m2. Okay, let's use it some more. All right, some of you already guessed it. Yeah, we do have a right triangle here, so we'll be using the Pythagorean theorem, and I've named this side A, this side B, and this side C. So we know it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared, more specifically to what we have here, uh, naming the origin O. A is my distance from O to A. Okay, so I substituted that, that's squared. Plus, now I have this, the distance from the origin to B squared. Sorry, I ran out of room. And my C is here, the distance from A to B squared. Now we got to find out how much each one is. All right, to find out the distances here, I'm going to be using the distance formula. Now, notice that these are squared already. So instead of me finding the distance and then squaring it, I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take out the square root symbol from our distance formula and give our distance uh, a square uh, just as it was normally. Now we go from using this to this. All right, let me show you what I did. Using our distance formula, I did was substitute. Okay, for example, this is from O to A, oh, I'm sorry, O to B, okay, here, I'm subtracting the X's, remember, this is 0, 0, so 1 minus 0, squared, plus, now the Y's, M2 minus 0, squared, 1 minus 0, it's just 1 squared, it's just 1, M2 minus 0, it's just M2, so M2 squared, there, so I have the distance from the origin to B, exact same thing for A, Except this time, my y was m1 over here. So I end up with 1 plus m1 squared. That's it. For, uh, from a to b, okay, I use these coordinates. So here are my x's. The difference of the x's is 1 minus 1. Okay, so that's 0. That's gone. Plus the difference of the y's squared. So, uh, when I work this out, it ends up being m2 squared, forgot squared. Oh, no, I didn't. It's right there. So, m2 squared minus 2m1 m2 plus m1 squared. So, it is these three things that I now substitute in here. Okay, so let me erase this and these three things will be my next substitution. All right, all I did was move our information and condensed it. Let's go ahead and substitute. I now know that the distance of OA squared is one plus M1 squared. So I'm gonna substitute that into our Pythagorean theorem. And I get one plus M1 squared plus now from OB squared. And I know it's this plus one plus M2 squared equal to from AB squared. 
and that's m2 squared minus 2m1 m2 plus m1 squared. Alright, let's go ahead and simplify it and see what we can do. I'm going to do a couple things at the same time. I'm going to combine these two and I'm going to notice that I have m1 squared m2 squared. Same thing here, m1 squared m2 squared. So, I'm going to put them on the same side. Minus m1 squared minus m2 squared. Notice that they get cancelled out. This is all gone. I'm combining these two so I get 2 is equal to minus 2 m1 m2. I want to get these two by themselves so I'm going to divide by negative 2 divide by negative 2 and this is negative 1 is equal to the product of m1 times m2 which shows that if you multiply the two slopes of perpendicular lines they'll give you negative 1 the only way that could happen is if these are opposite reciprocals so here you go you have your proof of perpendicular lines until next time